Welcome back, up. ladies and gentlemen. We are doing Hollywood once again. Same teams. Still Team Primal versus Team Paragon. Uh, looks like this time Team Paragon is on defense. They are going for a pretty standard uh, two support, two tanks, and two offense. Though notably, one of the supports is Symmetra, so healing might be low. But um, the last time they played Hollywood, she was very successful with her teleporter at getting her teammates back into the battle way faster than Team Primal was able to stop them. So the last time these two teams played in this setup, Team Primal was not able to capture the first control point. So let's see if Team Primal is going to try something different. Already I see that they are going with three tanks. They have Reinhardt, Zanya, and Winston, along with two offense and Thrakon as medic. So they definitely are beefing their team up. They are flanking around the back. Symmetra's cheeky little turret behind the blue car might not even be noticed. Uh, though they are pushing through the main hallway. Team Paragon is, as always, electing to hang back, concede the streets, and consolidate their fighting on the point itself. Intense tank to tank warfare happening here. Team Paragon, for the most part, is holding, though they've got some pretty intense flanks coming in on their position. Clearing the area. Did I just block the? Uh, okay. And so Team Team Primal is mostly hanging back. Team Paragon's defense is pretty rock solid, especially with those du dual kills right there. Definitely helping farm Symmetra's ult so she can get that teleport. My ultimate is charging. Uh, Team Primal, for the most part, seeming to have a little bit of difficulty pushing through. And Team Paragon is taking advantage of that by uh, pushing. Though Genji has managed to flank around the back, interested to see if he can get something to happen. Um, he might be able to locate and destroy the teleporter because Symmetra has placed it. Though I don't see on the map where she placed it. So it's possible that he already destroyed it. But we'll see. Team Primal is pushing in from the top this time. Uh, trying to come into the villa. Team Paragon is, for the most part, just waiting for Lightweight to show up. And here comes the next push. Uh, Farah maintaining the high brim. Uh, both Farahs going down, mostly at each other's hands with some help. Symmetra's turrets and Mercy's ult bringing the defense back pretty solidly, though immediately countered by Team Primal's Mercy, having a similar ult. The defense is mostly holding them. Uh, the kills are pretty much being traded left and right. Um, it does not look like either team was able to really get a lot done with that. Oh, there it is. Symmetra's teleporter is hidden in a very, very decent spot. It's going to be difficult for Team Primal to locate that. Speaking of which, here comes Team Primal. Same place as always. Looks like they are once again trying to come in through the villa and the front door. Not a lot of success at doing that. Team Paragon's defense is pretty rock solid. And they are slowly but surely being hemmed into this back alleyway, which they are not interested in. They have anything to do um, They are doing okay. Azaria ult should be able to help with that. With some wow, there we go. Oh, well, that was a short that was a short lived uh, numerical and positional advantage, a Mercy ult immediately brings your team back in on the action. Though, uh, the counter ult Mercy still has it, is electing not to use it, mainly because most of her team is alive, and she is not. Ouch. Luckily, she's on offense, it won't take very long for her to get back into the fight. Um, Roadhog being played by Zietz. Going threats, going probably let's say overextending and dying, leaving his team at a numerical disadvantage. And there's no way Primal's not going to capitalize on that. Pushing in, Reinhardt counters Reinhardt, and for the most part, oh dear, a Winston ult happening. But for the most part, they are managing to hold again. Though this Mercy ult could change. Farah finished. Wow, wiping the floor. That was a very successful defense. 
I, I believe that someone on red might have gotten a glimpse of that teleporter. I saw a couple people hanging around back there. So it's possible they know where the teleporter is. That will definitely change things, because if red manages to take this control point, which they have one minute to do, they would then have no trouble also eliminating that teleporter and preventing the team from almost immediately respawning. I mean, really, what, that, that is what's happening here again. The reason Primal lost Hollywood last time was because they weren't able to take that teleporter down. Uh, we, we see this over and over again. Team Primal is getting a lot of kills, but then the teleporter is up, and they just immediately sweep back in. So, I mean, of that note, they've just wiped out a bunch of the team, though they're all back to life with a very great quadruple ult. Uh, Winston manages to escape. As the music will imply, time is running out. 20 minutes left, 20, wow, 20 seconds left for Team Primal to capture this control point. And they have not even gotten to the payload section. Um, the, the teleporter is down. I believe it just ran out of charges. Defense is doing way too good for, for the time here. And that is a identical victory for Team Paragon. Team Primal was not able to capture that control point, so it looks like the dual tanks did not work out. Um, I see that they managed to switch their roster around. Let's watch play of the game. I've always wondered, when you get a play of the game where one guy kills a bunch of people and then it ends with the Mercy reviving them all, why didn't Mercy just get the play of the game? I mean, the actual play of the game was completely countered. But whatever. Algorithms, how do they work? That was Hollywood. We are going to see uh, the teams switch. Team Primal is going to be defending and Team Paragon is going to be attacking. Last time this happened, Team Paragon had an equally difficult time capturing the uh, control point. I believe it also went into overtime for them. However, they were able to capture the control Prepare point. Upon doing that, they started pushing, and they pushed that payload really fast. They made it all the way to uh, like maybe 100 feet away before really stopping the payload. And then at that point, the game went into a seven minute stalemate where both teams fought each other off over and over, ending with them capturing the control point after a very extended overtime. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with these teams uh, this time around because they have had a bunch more time to experiment with this map. They've played it four or five more times since then, and so they're definitely going to have a lot of time oh, oh, to boy. reflect on what did and didn't work. Nothing's gonna stop. Speaking of what did or didn't work, let's look at class consistencies. Uh, Team Primal is going for to support, one of which is a Symmetra. Yeah, they're, they're trying to get in on that Symmetra action. They've got to be aware at how damning the teleporter was when they were on offense. Uh, otherwise, they're going with one tank and two offense. Pretty, pretty interesting setup, to be I'm honest. Uh, this is a relatively abnormal setup with, with two supports, though they are going with Soldier 76, who, for being in the offensive category, is surprisingly proficient at healing his team. On the other side of the clock, Team Paragon is using two tanks, two offense, and two support. Much more cookie cutter, very straightforward. It worked for them last time. And pretty pretty, pretty generic choices on all those counts for the characters they're using. Winston is something of an interesting choice. Uh, just like last time, Team Primal electing to give the streets up for free, but they have built the Ring of Death. The, ring of, the, 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 arc of, the Archway of Death, kind of efficient. They have a tendency to all get popped almost immediately, forcing Symmetra to completely rebuild. Kind of annoying. And here we go. First push happening. Lickitung as Junkrat manages to down Pharah. Uh, these trades are pretty even. And they are already getting capture time, but it looks like defense is mostly going to push them off. Symmetra is probably trying to get... Uh, those kills are trying to get that damage so that, it, that she can get her teleporter up as soon as possible. Team Paragon is behind the sign, but you cannot travel through as a camera. And they are pushing in one more time. My argument is charging. Uh, for the most part, they seem to be, they aren't quite as united as they could be. I see only two people pushing in. Uh, defense is pretty easily countering that. Two of them down. Uh, 
We move swiftly. I am ready to revive you. Sorry about that. Um, some, one of my friends on here. But I can't. I am shout casting. I'll apologize. My ultimate Looks like Team Primal is actually pushing forward. They are not. Ooh. That looks painful. Alright, Team. They are pushing in one more time. Good counter charge by Reinhardt. Wow. Team Paragon. Wow, Team Paragon's Reinhardt did some work, but there's a Dracon release from the crack and get some get some revives at the cost of her own life. Uh, let's see. I see zero percent on the symmetry. She implies they got the teleport. Curious is where she placed the teleporter. Oh, Heroes never okay. die. Her teleporter is back there. A pretty standard place, though. I really did like the place in Team Paragon, the place of the teleporter. Uh, capture time happened. Uh, Lucio has viewed the teleporter and they know that that's what's happening. Uh, they, you know, it doesn't take any to see a symmetry. Oh, the, the teleporter is down. Uh, that teleporter spot did not work as well as Team Paragon's teleporter spot. And I'm getting hooked on a thing. And it looks like. Despite all of that, defense did manage to hold them off, which is actually quite remarkable. I think there are some very, very skilled kills in that regard. My ultimate is charging. Uh, Team Paragon regrouping, getting ready to go in there again. My ultimate oh. is almost ready. Oh, turn it up! Oh, let's break it! Damn! A uh, well-timed yeah. ult by Lucio giving his team the sonic uh, sound barrier in an attempt to take this control point. Oh, they're getting a lot of kills. Is Dracon's ult is not charged. She can't... Okay, now it is. And there we go. And they're all back to life. Though the, uh, the Paragon Karsten Mercy is fully prepared to return the favor, but it doesn't look like she needs to. I mean, she, she could. She, there have been a lot of kills. Oh, that was very good timing. She may have died, but she managed to revive her team just in time. Not that anything really came of it. Though, yeah, no, that, that was pretty much a failed push. Um, looks like both teams are having a very difficult time capturing the control point. A Junkrat tire is trolling the enemy team and getting Lucio. Lucio is down. They're going to have to wait a little bit for him to respawn. Looks like they're going to hold back and wait for Lucio. At least a My few of them are. They're shocking. definitely not. They're definitely not committing to a real attack right now. Um, they are holding in the streets, which gave Symmetra more than enough time to set up her ring of death. Looks like she has another teleporter out placed in the same spot. Let's hope that works. Uh, Reinhardt for the defense, giving the team something to think about. And here comes the next push, Reinhardt. Countering Reinhardt and then getting countered by Reinhardt. These Reinhardt battles are very entertaining to watch. And for the most part, that was almost a complete wipe on the part of Team Paragon. Team Primal did a very good job of blocking that control point and continuing to do so. It looks like Symmetra is very powerful on this map with team support because the same thing's happening. Characters are dying and immediately re-entering the fray thanks to that teleporter. Team Paragon has 28 seconds left on the clock. They know that time is time is running out and they need to get something good happening uh, soon or they are going to draw with Team Primal and both teams are going to fail to capture the first control point. The first attack is coming in here. Uh, Lucio giving his team the ult that they need. Both medics are ready to start doing some damage. Junkrat getting a couple of kills. Okay, there we go. Till Valhalla immediately getting hit by Reinhardt. Not enough to get a kill. Looks like defense is going to push, but a revival from Mercy gives the red team one more chance, but I don't see it happening. There are too many defenders on the point at the moment. Farah did what she could with one last hold. And oh, Winston and Genji, both very high mobility classes, both more than capable of staying alive long enough to keep this point happening. The Winston did die surprisingly fast. And oh, Genji manages to defeat Reinhardt. And they are on the control point again. Offense is doing a surprisingly good job of keeping that overtime from running out and just keeping somebody on the clock. Uh, Symmetra's turret's the only thing really stopping this control point from being captured. Uh, the time being, people are bringing it back in. Uh, looks like they picked the teleporter, so people are having to get in slowly. And they might be able to actually take this control point. Reinhardt is coming in. Uh, they are very close to finishing. Ooh, but that Reinhardt ult uh, is doing some damage, but he managed he started attacking a healed Reinhardt, uh, which did not pan out for him. I think 
they might actually be able to take this control point and keep the map going, and they did. Diva attempts to get in on the control point, but did not get on the control point enough. So, no matter what they do, Team Paragon does do does score better than Team Primal does in the end because they were able to take the control point. Uh, though they do not have much time at all. They only have 2 minutes and 40 seconds to push this payload as far as they possibly can. They have a lot of people on the control point right now, on the payload right now. Let's see. Team Primal is electing to hang back in this alleyway, sort of. I was interested to see if they tried to take the roof. Looks like they tried that, but Winston saw that coming and, and flushed Soldier 76 off the roof. Here comes the payload, and Team Primal is mostly ready. Um, so a couple other people aren't at full health. Okay, that was fixed, so they are doing good, but Team Paragon has so many ultimates ready. Uh, in counter to Team Primal. Team Primal burnt a lot of ultimates attempting to keep the payload from being activated, and that is going to hurt them right now if Team Primal, if Team Paragon uses these ults effectively. And one of them just went down and did not see where. Lucio's ult has gone live. Genji is going live with a Sonic Barrier, and they are really effectively driving the defensive team back. Oh my gosh, that was almost a complete wipe. Genji is still hanging out and in the in the rooftops, peppering them with some minor suppressing fire. And uh, the other Genji is not having any of that. And they've managed to capture the next control point at a little bit more time, which they desperately need this close to the end. They have three minutes and twenty seconds to get the control to get the payload all the way to Alfred Glitchcock's trailer, which will be <laughs> Alfred Glitchbox trailer, which is a tall order. On the previous map, they only succeeded after seven minutes with a healthy amount of overtime. So they're going to have to move very fast to to possibly get this, and they are doing so. They're definitely pushing through quickly. Um, but Team Primal is well aware that they were able to hold this, and this is a very defensible position, being the end of the map. At two minutes and forty-six seconds, Team Primal, uh, Team Pri Team Paragon is not going to have very many opportunities to make it to the end of this map. Uh, but they are giving it their all right now, pushing in, and Lucio ult giving his team the advantage, a Mercy ult completely countering it, along with a very damaging Pharah ult by Lickitung, dealing a lot of damage and taking out a lot of enemies. That is definitely a victory for the defense. They still, I mean, to be granted, the offense still has two minutes for another push, and they got some kills, but the problem with killing defense on this map is that respawn is so quick that it takes almost no time for the defending classes to respawn and get right back in there. A, a ulting Reinhardt timed with a ulting Winston manages to eliminate one of their sources of healing, and they do have an advantage over the payload, but there are so many defensive classes, and they are in such a good position that it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get in there as much as they probably needed to. And they are pushing the offense back. The offense is having to retreat. And that is another victory for the defense. They've managed to hold this control point. One minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Genji doing a little bit of trolling, hiding and scaring them while they are in spawn. Just basically scored his team a free 15 seconds to regroup and re-prepare for the upcoming attack. And they are going to have to deal with a couple of ults though. Looks like Tracer and both healers have their ults ready. And I can't imagine Lucio plans on holding that for very long. There we go. Team, uh, Team Paragon on offense has the sound barrier. Was not able to get very much done with it. Uh, on, you know, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, Lucio and Soul76 are down, and then Mercy manages to bring the remaining offensive players back to life. That payload is pushing in there. I don't see much to stop them. Mercy's down and does not have a revive prepared. Uh, Crash as Genji is in there and trying desperately to stay alive long enough to just keep the payload blocked. And he dies, but he did give his team time to respawn in there. Is Lickitung is alive with an ult, but it was not enough, and Team Paragon was able to push the payload and finish the map. Very good run by them. The, both teams were definitely on their A game, and Team Team Primal was so close to finishing and rounding that game out on several circumstances that they were just not able to pull it through at the end. That was a great five kill by Reaper uh, on that. 
And that was Hollywood. I'm interested to see if these two teams are ready to have another match after this. Um, I believe we have scrimmed seven matches in a row. Uh, looks like they may want to go to Hollywood again. Um, if they do, that would be pretty interesting. And it does. It looks like they want to play Hollywood again. And they're not wasting any time. Let's jump right in there and start doing Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. I don't know what happened. Looks like they want to scrim Hollywood and then King's Row. Admit this might be the last uh, set of games I'm going to shoutcast tonight. Got a couple of other things I need to do before before I'm allowed to go to sleep. Uh, other projects and deadlines are looming, so I think I'm probably going to shoutcast Hollywood and then call it a night.